Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Please invite your friends and let us shake hands. Uh, in case uh, you know, we know that we don't want to shake hands with the ladies from the Islamic religion uh, because they are not allowed to shake hands, but they can give you breastfeeding for adult. Today our topic is about uh, the shape of Allah. You know, all of us we remember. You know, once. Uh, we have uh, a Christian man, his name is David Wood, and a Mohammedan uh, kid, his name is Mimi Hijab. In the debate, you know, it was about, uh, you know, the deity, deity which they worship and what we worship. So when Muhammad Hijab, you know, he'd been questioned about Allah having uh, a shin, Allah have a leg, Allah have an ass, Allah have a male private part, which we do not know his size yet. Uh, Mimi Hijab, he says, who said so? And this is how Muhammadan, they always, you know, and, and, and they think the funny is, every Muslim man, he knew that Muhammad Hijab is lying when he said, who said so? Including his sisters, you know, Lulu, Susu, Dudu, Fufu, Kuku, all of them. And yet, not a single one of them, he said, shame on you, what are you talking about? Are you even making fun of, the, of our religion? Uh, if you go right now in YouTube, you will find tons of videos made by Zakir Naik, by Islamic sheikhs. All of them, they, they confirm that Allah have hands, Allah have, a, have fingers, Allah have face, Allah have an ass, Allah have a male pri private part. And if you have a doubt about that, you can call me right now in Skype, and I will be happy to take you for a snack, because you deny it, it doesn't mean it's not there. You know, the Muhammadan, they play uh, the same as the ostrich. It's a bird. When the wolf is coming, they put their hand in the sand and they think nobody really see them, you know. So you lie, but people laugh at you. And you, you claim that you won an argument or won a debate. But here we go. You became a mockery of everyone. Not only that, actually. Mimi Hijab, he said, and that's why he gets so upset from me because I got him busted right away. Yeah, sorry guys, we have uh, we have some internet difficulty. It looked like the hand of Allah is involved. Uh, so, you know, all the Muslims, they knew that this guy is lying, but yet they support the lies so they can get away with their own lies. I'm not going to stay here for long because today I'm going to go live in, uh, in uh, uh, Zoom uh, with the Indonesian group. Um, so I will not stay here for long. But if there is any Muslim would like to call us, uh, please feel free. My Skype is open. Uh, you know, and we will be happy to uh, to take your vision of Allah. How you see Allah? Allah has a shin. Allah has hands. Allah has face, fingers, ass, male private part. But still, the Muslim cannot tell us really who is this Allah. You know. Let us see, maybe we have a Muslim trying to contact us. Let us see. <coughs> and he is saying to me, why you are scared? The, the, the one usually who says, you know, but we will see. Look like I'm keep losing internet. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening. Let us see why our internet keep getting lost. Hey, there's a switch. <clears throat> All right. Let us see. All right. Um. Uh, 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 are we fine for now? Is the video coming to you guys? I hope we are okay now. Yeah, let us see. We have a Muhammadan, and let us try to contact him. His name is Mustafa. Hello. Yeah, this is Fakira. Hello. Uh, okay, but why do you want to talk about our topic? 
Because uh, I contacted you last time, but you weren't available, fortunately. No, no, I, I don't care about last time and this time, available or not. We are talking about Allah. He have a body, he have a shin, he have hands. And we were hoping that a Muslim, smart Muslim like you, will call us and will give us his uh, view of Allah. Okay, well, what do you want to know about Allah? Well, I don't know. I mean, the Quran and the scholars agree that Allah have a, has a shin, as an example. Yeah. What, why Allah has a shin? What do you mean, why? Huh? What do you mean, why he has a shin? Well, I have a leg, so I can walk in it. I have a hand, so I can grab things with it. I have teeth, so I can bite with it and chew food, correct? Yeah. Okay. So Allah have a shin. For what reason? You know, uh, when you go, there's a narration. Uh -huh. which goes to uh, Ibn Abbas and he said that the verse which talks about the shin of Allah means that the matter will be exposed the matter yeah the matter like the shin will be revealed it means the shin will be exposed so what does have to do with the shin of Allah is there's a hadith and I don't care about Ibn Abbas because Ibn Abbas is not better than Muhammad right Muhammad he said yeah. they asked him are we going to see our Lord in the day of judgment he said yes they said, are you going to be bothered to see the sun in a clear day? They said, no. He said, are you going to bother to see the, the, the moon in a clear sky? They said, no. He said, this is how you see Allah. And then uh, Allah will come to them in a shape other than the shape which they saw first time. And they will, you know, they refuse him. And then Allah will come to them. And then they say, uh, how we recognize Allah? He said, his shin, his shin laid bare. So we are talking about physically seeing Allah, not uh metaphorically a matter or it's, this is a shin allah have a shin but his shin is unlike the shin of his creations okay but that would not change anything you see when allah he quiet a shin it's me it's a shin like you know a, a shin of a dog is not like my shin correct it's no, but allah doesn't have a, huh? allah doesn't have a body allah doesn't have a body or something or body uh, allah don't have a body no so why Zakir Naik says, yes, Allah have hands, Allah have face, Allah have fingers, Allah have a shin, Allah have a, you know, and, uh, and, uh, and your prophet says, Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one which they saw first time. Actually, the Arabic says Allah will come to them in an image. Exactly. So are you saying the image does not mean shape? No, but hold on. But you need to look at, you know, what the previous, like, classical scholars like Ibn Taymiyyah said, not Zakir and Aikisham. So do you, follow, do, you follow, do you follow do you follow Ibn Taymiyyah or do you follow Muhammad? I follow both, of course. Why do you follow Ibn Taymiyyah? Who is Ibn Taymiyyah? Ibn Taymiyyah is the greatest Salafi scholar. So if I show you I now think. what Ibn Taymiyyah he said, you accept? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, of course. Okay. So anything Ibn Taymiyyah he will say, you will not, you will not refuse, correct? What are you going to, is this related to the topic? My friend, yeah, I mean, what, you see, either he is the greatest scholars of the scholars or, you know, or you don't, uh, you don't believe in Ibn Taymiyyah. I don't blind follow, but of course I accept him, of course I follow him. You know, and I find it very funny that the Muslim, they don't want to read the Hadith of Muhammad, but they want to read Ibn Taymiyyah. When Ibn Taymiyyah is just uh, like, which year was Ibn Taymiyyah to, to, to be sure that he is the one who can explain Islam to you? My friend, Ibn Taymiyyah was studying Islam his whole life, 24 7. So what? He, he There's all Muslims, all Muslims, scholars, they study Islam all their life. No, but he has knowledge. He, you know, he has written books about the Jahmiyyah. There is many, they wrote books about, about Islam too. Yeah, but he has written okay. books on the... Christian Ibn Taymiyyah, you see, you are the one who brought this to yourself. Isn't it Ibn Taymiyyah, he says, in in in, if, in, in Majmu'ahu, he said in volume number three, I think, page number three, seven, uh, I think uh, 373, Inna Muhammadan Rasulullah yujlisuhu rabbahu al arsh ma'ahu. Yeah, he sits on the throne. But you just said to me, Allah does not have a body. There, there, there's a hadith of Rasulullah where Rasulullah mentioned the word uh, sitting, but there's a disagreement on scholars on whether it's authentic or not. Okay, but now you notice Some that Allah, but look what happened now. You just agreed with this uh, statement, right? 
uh, I, I don't follow the opinion that Allah sits like Ibn Uthaymin said. No, no, I'm saying Muhammad, he will oh. sit with Allah on his throne. Yeah, yeah, of course. I, I agree that Prophet will Okay, sit with that's Allah. mean Allah and Muhammad are sitting on the throne, correct? Yeah, of course. Okay, that's mean have a body because you cannot have a, you know, a throne is a physical body and uh, Muhammad is a physical being and he is sitting with Allah. So Allah is sitting. Is he a spirit according to Muslim? No. So what is sitting on the throne? A piece of meat? No. A piece of kebab? No. It's the body of but Allah. If, no, no. If you were to say Allah sits, the sitting will be unlike his creation. We don't know how he sits. You, just, you know, you see, you Muslims are really, um, I mean, you give me a funny answer. The sitting is not his like creation. The shin is not like his creation. The finger is not like creation, but he is sitting with Muhammad in the same chair. So if his sitting is different, then we should not say it is sitting. Because then it's not a sitting. Either it's a sitting or not. So in order the to meaning, get... The, the meaning is the same, but how he does it is unknown. But how he does it... I, I, do you know how Muhammad he said to? Maybe Muhammad he said in his head. Maybe Muhammad said in his, his side. Maybe in his shoulder side. So what does that mean? So the Muslim, they try to uh, avoid the embarrassment. But now we have two gods. Because if Muhammad have a body and Allah has a body... And both body in one throne. Why Allah is sharing his throne with Muhammad? Is Muhammad God? Of course not. Okay, so why Muhammad sitting next to Allah on his throne? Because Allah gave him the permission uh, to. He's the greatest creation ever. I thought nobody can see Allah, and the second you see Allah, you will be demolished. And now you are saying that Muhammad himself is sitting next to Allah. Not only he can see Allah, he is sitting no, no, on no, the no, same no. chair. Allah has a hijab, so no one can see him. We can only see him in We are talking now about a physical being. His name is Muhammad. And Allah, a physical being, his name is Allah, no. which almost then knows what, how he looks like. Huh? Allah is not physical. What do you mean Allah is not physical? You just told me Allah, he is sitting on his th throne. But can you show me any classical scholar who said it's uh, physical? But Ibn Taymiyyah, the same guy, he said he make him sit with him on the throne. The second you say... Sit with him, that means somebody is sitting, correct? Sit, what's sit mean? Yeah. I mean, even this one, we need a book to, to understand it's sitting. So if I sit, what's sit mean? It mean I sit in my in my bum. Very simple. No, 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 <laughs> no. No, what? no, no, no. Like okay, that. prove it to me that no, 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 no. Prove it to me. Go ahead. I'm listening. You mean prove it? Astaghfirullah al You say Allah has a book? I'm not, saying, I'm not saying Allah is a bum. I'm saying Allah has a bum. I'm saying uh, when Allah, he said, Muhammad, he said, both of them are sitting in the same chair. So sitting is a setting yeah. described by your God. So he sit in his throne. You see in the Quran, it says, he leveled himself on the, on, the, uh, uh, on the chair. The Muslim, they refuse to tell us how Allah, he lived in his chair because they are afraid. Because in the oldest order day, when a group of people, they, they try to say how Allah created the Quran, they start slaughtering them. And since then, nobody dare to speak about Allah have a body, Allah have a Quran is a created, etc. So, and now you are doing the same. So it says he, he sits on, his, he set him on the throne. Allah, he make Muhammad sit with him on the throne. And this is the scholar you named him for me. I'm not getting you something from my pocket. So if I ask you how he sit in the throne, you start giving me your own fiction. Oh, it's not like us. It's, prove it to us. It's not like us. Because Allah says in the Quran that there's nothing like him. So what? You know, nothing like me too. Nothing like you too. No, but anything. There is no, like no, no, my friend. Nature. No, 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 my friend. This is very, very funny. Very funny argument. Because each individual of us, even a drop of snow, like a, uh, you know, a, a flurk of snow, there's nothing like it. Each one of them is different in the shape, in the design. So that doesn't mean that the snow is Allah, and doesn't mean that you are Allah, and doesn't mean your finger and my finger are Allah, because my fingerprint is not like your fingerprint, and there's no fingerprint in the whole world like mine. That means I am different from everybody, and DNA is different. So when the Muslim, they give me an answer, which I find it very funny, there's not an answer. So Allah, he sit in the throne. Muhammad sit with him in the throne. Now we have two God, Allah and Muhammad. And both of them, they are physical being. And now Muslims, they are making Allah equal to Muhammad because the throne is a, is a, is a place of authority, correct? 
Mm. Correct? What do you mean place of authority? What it's a place of authority. When the king, he sat in the throne, do anyone there to, to sit beside, be, be, you know, next to the king, except he is, he must be equal to the king? No, except by his permission, if the king wants No, to. no. You see, what a permission. The yes, of no, my friend, hold on. Uh, uh, why a king will make someone, he is not equal to him to sit in his throne with him? Because he honors him, he honors him. So can't he honor them without, you know, he's God. We are talking about Allah as God and Muhammad as a man. So isn't it enough that Muhammad is honored? In fact, the Quran says there is a prayer, you know, uh, you know, that uh, uh, Allah, they are the Muhammad is praying to Allah uh, that he will have a good place, correct? Yeah. Okay, who is praying, Allah or Muhammad? I'll pray. Yeah. You know, salah in the classical Arabic can also mean send salutations. You know. No, no, like no. for example, no, this, is, we... this is another question. I, I want you to focus with me. In chapter seventeen, verse number seventy-nine, Allah is speaking. Correct. The Quran. We notice always the one is talking is Allah. Correct. We agree. Are you with me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So who is talking? Allah, correct? Yeah, the, let me see the verse. So I'm praying the small watches of the morning. It would be an additional prayer or spiritual prophet for you. Soon will you, Lord, raise you to a praise station of praise and glory. Yeah, what's mm. from? Okay. But but Ibn Abbas say oh, sorry uh, Ibn Taymiyyah said according to your prophet Muhammad will sit with Allah on his throne but here this is a prayer Allah saying to Muhammad pray to me so I will make you sit in a high rank please correct yeah yeah okay so is the prayer of muhammad was in vain because allah already he gave him the throne to sit with him or this is a joke wait what can you ask again okay if i am already granted to sit on the throne of allah i mean what is more higher that can be if there's higher than the throne of allah maybe the shoulder of allah so if i am granted and you agree you have no problem that muhammad will sit in the throne of allah what is higher is going to be? So what this verse is about? If Muhammad already granted in his time, been taught that you will sit on my throne, so why Allah asking him to pray for him in the, a certain part of the time? So, you know, Allah will give him maybe, maybe. And what kind of religion this religion is? says? Asa an rabbuka maqaman mahmuda. So maybe, have you ever heard of a God saying maybe? No, because Allah says maybe because he wants us to put uh, our trust in him and fear him. You know? No, no, no. You see, and, I can say maybe because I'm praying to God. I say, I hope, I pray. But the one is talking is Allah and Allah saying, maybe his, your Lord. Who is his Lord? Who's talking Allah? But Allah saying to Muhammad, maybe your Lord, maybe your Lord will give you a high rank and high space. Yeah, but so, maybe uh, when he says maybe he wants uh, Muhammad, you know, to uh, ask Allah for it. Okay, my friend, but the one is talking is Allah. Allah don't say maybe if he is God, isn't it? The Quran says if Allah wants something to happen, he say be is going to be. Yeah. So what maybe for? But uh, I I like say maybe me. you say maybe because we are not sure. Maybe God will take me to heaven. Maybe God will forgive me. Maybe. Yeah, but. but the, the, there's a verse in the Quran where Allah says to Muhammad, uh, if they ask you where you're going to go, say, only my Lord knows where I'm going to go. This is not about knowing. Know. Okay, see, this is even contradiction for what you just said. Because if no, only my not. Lord knows, then Allah should know if Muhammad will be raised in a high rank station or not. But here is saying maybe. So Allah is either hiding the truth or he is playing games or he is not God. And Muhammad is making this verse. Obviously, this is a verse which is a prior supplication, Muhammad, he said it, you know, and you Muslims, uh, you take it as a Quran, you put it in the Quran, and if it's Allah talking, it doesn't make any sense.
Yeah, but can, can we talk about other stuff of Allah, like the hand okay, Yeah, okay, so we'll talk. Actually, we're talk, we are talking about it, you see, because Allah is the one who have the hands, and isn't it the Quran says that Allah created Adam by his hands? Yeah, but when you go to a tabari, he says uh, it's not like a limp or a physical. It's not like what? And so, a limp, body part. It's like what then? It's a hand. The, okay, the meaning of hand is something that Allah uses of his nets to grab or to hold or to create things. That is the meaning of hand. Well, yeah, he he said he created. He he uh, he collected mud. He uh, he mixed the mud with the water, and and he created Adam by his hands. And you are telling me now his hands is not hands? No, it it does, but. It's not unlike his creation. That's what I'm saying. You see, uh, this is the this is again. I mean, this is a this is a weird answer. Uh, you know, not like his creation. I don't care, my friend. A spider, he have legs. Uh, lizard have hands. Or uh, if you say maybe uh, four legs, uh, but doesn't mean. I mean, uh, we call them if when when somebody he use his hands to create something, it's hands. How it look like, we don't care. And here we notice that those hands they have to work with the brain, don't they? Allah yeah if I have hands if I decide to create a person let us say I want to make a status like I'm not God I cannot make a, a human being so I can make a status like what he did he make a figure of a man from dirt correct yeah okay I can do the same but I cannot make the, the figure of a dirt to be human no I cannot but now Allah he used his hand to create the figure of the uh, of, of a human being and I will make a figure of a human being. But in order to do that, my hands have to be connected to my brain. Look what I sent you in the chat. It's of uh, a tabari. I, I don't I, I don't open Muslim links. I can open a tabari, no problem. I know I know no, what no, you are. No. I know I know all tafsir, my friend. Just tell me what you want to say and I will tell you exactly. I will tell you even the page. But this will not change anything. No, but it's a picture. You see, first of all, first of all, it's do you accept a, this this is our my, my problem with the Muslim. Do you accept a tabari? Yeah, but it's a picture. It's not a link. No, no. I I ask you. Uh, do you accept a tabari? Yeah, of course. Okay. So now, if I go to a tabari, you accept whatever a tabari says. Whatever. Uh, see, friend, the second I say whatever, so suddenly you are now in alarm. Whatever. Do you want me to show you more scholars? No, you know, you see, you do not need to show me. I'm asking you. You know, a tabari. He said that the hand of Allah is not connected to his brain. He said that. No, it's he says it's not like a limp. Allah doesn't have limbs. He hears, but he not through limbs or whatever. And he how how a tabari knows? Okay, you know you know you you know what when somebody says something to you, shouldn't you ask a tabari where he get this from? When we when when we come to a conclusion, we have to give it a proof that your prophet says this. No, so how a tabari he knew was a tabari from the time of your prophet even no. So when you Muslim, you can bring me Ibn Taymiyyah and Al-Tabari. What those even have to do with the religion? Nothing. Somebody, he made books. I have books. Somebody, he studied Islam. I study Islam. But when you make a, a, a point, you have to give me a reference, either coming from Muhammad himself or from Allah. Anything else is your own assumption, your own fictions. So if Allah, if Muhammad, he said, okay, did Muhammad, he used the word, you, you mentioned to me that the word image the word image is what Allah he mentioned, right? Image. Yeah, but it, listen, you, you said why follow a tabari? He's from a time of the Salaf in Islam. What Salaf? Have to follow what, the, salaf? What, year, what year was a tabari? From the ninth century, right? So the, the ninth century is a Salaf? <laughs> yeah, you can consider it a salaf. Really? Yeah, okay. Must, so, so if somebody must, came, so if somebody, uh, 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 he came, to, uh, you know, he came like a few hundred years after Muhammad. Still, he is the one who who knows Muhammad and what Muhammad meant. But the one was in the time of Muhammad, which is Muhammad. But in Islam, we have to follow the belief. Wait, wait. In Islam, we have to follow the belief of the salaf. That's what Muhammad said. But he, this, how this guy is a salaf? I mean, this guy first of all is born in Iraq, right? He's an yeah, Iraqi. He's, uh, and Iraq. The origin of him mostly is a is a Persian, and in the top of that, uh, he he you know there is more than three hundred years between him and Muhammad, 
and now you Muslims are saying that this guy will tell you what Muhammad him in. So what happened in those 300 years before Muhammad and him? Nobody knows what those because, words mean. Because if you are the students from the Sahaba and you are the students from the students of the Sahaba, okay. that's, and th so that's what... What do you think? Yes. Which one we should listen to? At-Tabari or Muhammad? Give me an honest answer. Both. So if Muhammad says something in disagreement with At-Tabari, you will take At Tabari. Then we take Muhammad. All right. No, then we take Muhammad. So let us go to Muhammad. Oh. Then why we are wasting our time? Here we go. I will show you what Muhammad he said. The same hadith we mentioned, but Muhammad he said that you you know when you mentioned to me, I, I said to you the word uh, uh, surah, image. You, say, you said image. In fact, it's a shape. You know, Allah will come to them in a shape. Because it is the same word Allah he used to speak about how he created Adam. Is that, is that correct? Surah, image. Yeah. Okay, so it's a shape because Adam himself created as a surah. So you do not know Arabic very well because surah means a shape, not just an image. So uh, here, if we go to the Quran, to Muhammad's uh, story, you will see Muhammad speaking about that uh, Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one which they saw first time there's two hadith the muslim translation they try to 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 fix it but it's too late so if we go to this hadith here as an example not necessarily this one we have tons of them uh we will find here it says let me show you in the screen can you see my screen yeah all right so the quran here saying let us uh The hadith, sorry. Muhammad said, Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know and will say, I am your Lord. I want you to tell me what the word shape mean. Shape? Yeah. What shape? Oh, means? Huh? Well, I told you it's just image, but you said it's the same thing used for Adam and therefore, but who told you that? This is the same meaning as the, in the meaning of Adam. Because this is Arabic. It's the same word used for both. But you can use it in different ways. It's, okay, so and why options. so why you Muslims? Why you Muslim? This is your Muslim website. Why you Muslims using the word shape if it's not a shape? But hold on, isn't this written in the book of Genesis? My friend, for us, what the book of Genesis? You know, for us as a Christian, we believe that God He can come as a man. God, he can come as he wish, but you Muslims are the one having problem. You don't dare. You keep saying no, to me, Allah not like anyone. Allah uh, is not equal Jesus to anyone. Uh, isn't it Jesus himself? Jesus is, isn't it Jesus himself? He come to this earth and he was a full man and at the same time for, for, for God. So for us, it's not a problem. Well, Jesus come to the earth. Jesus he's a man. Died. He's even born. So we have no problem. Jesus. It is you who is afraid and terrified to admit that your God, Allah, have a shape and he have a body. And now when we ask you, what is the shape of Allah? You start giving me your own fictions. No, but Jesus didn't exist in the time of uh, Genesis, the human Jesus. It doesn't matter. Same Jesus is exist all the time. Yeah, not, not the human one. So no, Jesus my, my friend, it doesn't Jesus. matter because who cares about the flesh? The flesh is nothing. You know, God, he come as he wish in any time he wish when he want. But Jesus says before Abraham, I am. So his existence is always exist. But now we don't want to change the topic says when he come, when he when he go, we are talking about the shape of Allah. So if it is the word surah, remember, remember when when, uh, when does it say Allah will come to them? Yeah. OK, what come to them mean? Explain. And I want everybody to listen. Hello. How the Muslim now they will play, they will go in circle to explain a very simple sentence. Allah will come to them. Go, I'm listening. Allah will draw closer to them. Uh huh. That's mean Allah is coming where? From above. Okay, coming where? We don't deny Allah will come. Huh? Allah is coming where? You said Allah will draw near to them, right? Yeah. Okay. And what does that mean? You will descend. Thank you. So Allah is a physical being. Because if he is not, how he how will he descend? If there's nothing, nothing will descend. So what is descending? And now as long you agreed that Allah will descend, huh? Allah descend from where to where? From above to down. 
thank you very much so Allah now is down he's not above no more and that's mean Allah is moving from point oh, A yes. he is moving from point A to point B and both of them they are inside his creation so Allah is inside his creation no 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 listen when we say for example you know the hadith of Allah descending to the lowest heaven at night yeah like uh, we say Allah he's above the throne but at the same time he descends who say that who, say. who say that like a tabri for example here we go man, you see, uh, you you know, see? Uh, so if you want to give me something at least give me you see if if, if somebody if, if somebody the priest priest he says to me uh, something I'm not going to uh, take what he say I will take what Jesus said I will take what the disciple of Jesus said the one have authority not uh, you know a tabari who's a tabari did your prophet Muhammad hire him even to explain anything you're a prophet he said may Allah make Ibn Abbas habru ummah is that correct yeah okay so you're a prophet he named only few people like take the Quran from four so he named four he named Ibn Abbas he named Ibn Mas'ud etc but who is a tabari so now you don't know what is religion so you try to run away and go to a tabari and now if we go to a tabari then you will regret because if a tabari he says something and Muhammad he says something you said to me oh we go and take Muhammad that's mean Muhammad himself don't agree with a tabari because you are the one who said that I said if I show you something a tabari he say in not in agreement with what Muhammad say what you take you said Muhammad that's mean you are agreeing already that a tabari is not even teaching Islamic religion because he is teaching you something in not in agreement with Muhammad and now when I say to you Allah come to them you are the one voluntarily who said to me Allah will descend correct yeah okay what? Allah will descend and I said to you from point A to point B I said what does that mean he said from above to down wonderful so now Allah yeah, is down the, down where the set of said uh, when Allah uh, descends he leaves us you know it's like for example the Jahmi says I disbelieve in a Lord that uh, leaves his place when he descends and the Salaf refuted him. He said, no, he descends and leaves his place. I'm not going to go after a sect and group of schools. I'm going to go after Islam. And what you said to me is what I'm talking about. Allah will descend. And you said to me, Allah now is going down. But isn't it down is his creation? Yeah. So Allah is inside his Allah. so Allah is inside his creation. No. What do you mean no? If I am Allah, going down and Allah down Okay. Uh, oh, I'm going to draw for you uh, my friend. Your, your name is Mustafa, right? So Yeah. Uh, uh, focus with me uh, Mustafa please. So I will draw something on the friend. screen. I, I will draw something on the screen if you don't mind. And yeah, I understand but sir, Allah descends but how he descends is unknown that's the I, I'm not asking you if you take elevator or not why, why we are changing the topic you know see this is what I don't like about the Muslims they try to escape the 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 real question by something have nothing to do with my I'm not asking you how he descend did I ask you how did I ask you if he take elevator or airplane or flying carpet no this is not my question because Allah he, he, he was he was in a point Allah, he was here. Imam, Allah Imam, was here Imam, in this point, my friend. Uh, uh, hold on. But my friend, I can't, I can't go into the details because Imam Ahmed was asked how Allah descends with his power or with himself. And uh, Imam Ahmed told the guy to shut up and to uh, pass Thank you very on, much. On, guy, on. did you see the answer? The guy asking Imam Ahmed, who is a big scholar, how Allah he descends, how the answer is, shut up. Yeah, shut up. He told him to shut up and to pass it on. How do you know why? So do you know why he said to him shut up? Because he is unable to ex to, to answer such a question. So this is showing you that Imam Ahmad is not an Imam. He is just a kid. Because this is not an answer from a wise man. He should give him an answer. Whatever the answer is, either he said to him, uh, why he didn't say that? Give answer. What, what shut up mean? What shut up mean exactly? So did we shut up now the question? Here we go. The question is still valid and no Muslim cannot answer it. And now you are telling me that your biggest Imam, he said to other Muslim, when he asked him the same question we're asking now, shut up. Yeah, because we can't explain the kafia How Allah does it is unknown. Uh, you unknown see, this is not the question again. You see, you Muslims always run from the topic. I did not ask you how Allah he went down. I said now, Allah he was here and now he is here so he was above and you are the one who said to me I said point A to point B above and you said it said to me yes to down so Allah now went down he descend 
So why you Muslim go around what Muhammad said? Muhammad he said descend. That means he descend. If Muhammad wanna say fly, he will say fly. If Muhammad wanna say he swim, he will say swim. I mean this is a Arabic language. So what we do in order to uh, uh, to fight uh, uh, the idea, which is Allah is like everybody, obviously he go down, he go up. You know, uh, isn't it the Quran says Allah after he finished the creation, he went up, up. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. Uh, so so yeah. Allah he go up. Yeah. So Allah was down anyway. So what the problem? Yeah, but uh, can I answer this? There, there was a guy who went to a tabri and he said about this verse: If Allah was down and after he created earth, he went up. Does that mean he was below creation? And a tabri said that this is not a necessity, and then he used his arguments against why this is not a necessity. But what does have to do with? Uh, what is the answer? Necessity? What necessity? How he know? I mean, is he Allah? Is this is a tabri? Is Allah? If Allah he says I went up and I went down and then you Muslim you start saying no Allah will not do this Allah will not do that Allah if you don't take a car you know this you are adding things from your own can you support what you just said from your own or oh, what you have Allah is unlike anyone well all of us we are unlike anyone everything even a computer by the way is not like anyone have a serial number every serial number is different from the one phone codes everything no, Allah... everything everything is unlike anyone so and, 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 and by the way, this no, is a statement from so. the Bible. The, the Bible says nothing like God. So Muhammad is copying even the Bible. But this is not the what. how do you answer the question. Allah have, is a physical being. He's moving from point A to point B. No, it's not physical. What do you mean not, not physical? I just showed you the, you know, it says shape. No image. But can you show me any scholar that says he's physical? Any big All scholar? All the scholars. Right now I can go actually even in YouTube. You will find tons of Muslim cleric, including Zakura Nayuka, Zakir Naik. He say Allah have hands, but how Allah hands look like we don't know. Allah have a shin. Yeah. How Allah shin look like we don't know. Allahu alam. So when we ask the Muslims, you know how Allah, you know we have a million videos saying Allah have hands. Millions, millions, millions. Yeah, Allah God. have hands. Yeah, Allah yeah. have a shin. Allah have a leg. Allah have etc. Even though the uh, Ash'ariya and the Maturi, they are the majority of the Muslims, they say Allah has no hands and, or feet or face. Okay, so what now? You Muslim Sunni. No, but the, we are talking about Muslim Sunni who believe that yeah, Allah has Sunni. hands. Aren't you Sunni? They are Sunni. Aren't you Sunni? I, I, I am Sunni, but they are Sunni too. But in Sunnism, there's different sects. I am a Salafi. Okay. Uh, I, I take things literally. Okay, you are a Salafi, then Salafi have to take it even more more strict. The Salafi, they are the first one should say, yes, Allah have a hand. Yeah, I is, hear that. Isn't it Sheikh uh, Asim, he is a Salafi? Yeah, he has hands. Okay, and he said, Allah, yes, Allah have hands. I did not say that. Allah, he said in the Quran, he have a shin, he have a hands, he have etc. And now you are saying to me, show me what it says, uh, it, uh, it's uh, not an image, a surah. But you just agreed it's no, a hand. No, so but, is, the, is, no, the, but, is the hand of Allah is an image? No, but, no, but you, we say the Quran says he has a hand and you're saying he's physical, he has a body, he has limbs. My friend, my friend, Quran. when you say he has a hand, if it's not a physical, you are not agreeing that he has a hand. No, because because we, when we you say he have a hand, okay, listen, when you say he have a hand, that's mean you are agreeing it's, it, it, it is physical. Because if it, he meant something else, then you say metaphorical. You don't say yes, he have a hand. No, Allah has something from himself that he uses to create or to grab things. Okay, I will go with you. Listen, everybody. Allah, he has something from himself to use to create his what? To create or to hold things. To hold things from himself. What yes, we call sir. it? We call it hands. Thank you very much. So you have yeah. something. Listen carefully. You are the one who said that. Allah, he has something from himself to create things or to hold something. Wonderful. That is a hand. Yeah, the Prophet said Allah has two right hands, you know. That's even more funny. Why Allah have a defect? No, no. Like the, the Salaf explained this by saying when it says right hand in the language of the Arabs, it, it means both of Allah's hands are blessed. You know, that's what right means. Okay, but that will not be accurate too, because if both Allah's hands are blessed, then there's no doesn't there's no difference between left and right. Which means your prophet he made a funny statement because if both hands are blessed, he, he Muhammad actually is insulting the left hand of Allah because he is saying the left hand of Allah is not exist. Is that by displacing the location 
or by is making a statement which is weird because if Allah is a blessed God and he is the one who bless everything it doesn't matter really if the hand is the right or the left are he is he in, in one hand you say to us nothing like Allah and now you are saying to me that Muhammad he said this statement to tell us that Allah hands both of them are blessed yeah but this is then this is a contradiction because nothing like Allah we can say maybe in holiness okay that's wonderful that's mean his left hand is the same as the right hand there's no different secondly as long as he have two left hands do he have two legs both of them they are right legs too to like a lot of legs so how why he have hands but he don't have legs Allah doesn't have arms. He doesn't have like, the the student of Ibn Kathir says Allah. We say we affirm the attributes, but he has no body, no limbs, no uh, you know, uh, idha or something. How he knew? How Allah? How he knew Allah have no bones? Because can you preserve for me from the Quran and Sunnah? Show me. Okay, when when the when Shaitan, uh, he went inside Adam, because Adam was at that time Allah. He made Adam. As a like a, as a statues for forty years, correct? Yeah. Okay. Shaitan he went inside Adam and he he found him empty. So he went from his buttocks and he came out from his mouth, and then he said to the angels, "Don't worry about him. He's empty. Not like your God." Well, what does that have to do with this? That's mean Allah. That's mean Shaitan. He tried to get inside the buttocks of Allah. He could not because it's full. But Adam buttocks is empty he was able to go and he came out from the mouth of adam but when shaitan he tried to go inside the buttocks of allah he could not get in so allah, allah is full inside allah, allah, allah. what buttocks of allah Stahfala, where are you getting this from okay you just told me you are the one who agree that allah and muhammad they sit on the on the throne yes okay allah he sat on what on his mouth in his nose how he sits is unknown so how oh. you know that he don't have a butt because Allah is not like his creation. My friend, okay, Allah. how Allah is not like his creation and the, and the hadith says that Allah created Adam in his image and this is taken from the book of Genesis. Because image doesn't literally mean himself. It means, you know, like uh, thoughts or something, like emotions, etc. Uh, uh, no, he described, he described how tall he is. Don't tell me it's an emotion. So uh, uh, I reported that the message of Allah saying, when any of you fight his uh, uh, like opponent, must avoid the voice for God for Allah created Adam in his own image and this is exactly what the Old Testament said so you, you avoid the face why you avoid the face because Allah have a face like what like the face of Adam otherwise there's not to make a difference it doesn't uh, make any uh, difference what why uh, huh Wait, Atabari says Allah has a face, but unlike the children of Adam. Unlike uh, here we go. Atabari, he said that now that the, the Prophet of Islam become Atabari. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, I wish once you would say to me, <laughs> Prophet Muhammad said, but you say to me, Atabari. Can you believe it? <laughs> Honestly, like each time I say to you, the, I, I'm showing you what the Prophet said, you say to me, Atabari said. Yeah, because I take my aqidah from him too, you know. How you take aqidah from him? Who is even this guy? He's the biggest uh, mufassir of the Quran. He is the biggest mufassir of the Quran? Yes, and he has the uh, aqidah of the Salaf. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to show you something from At-Tabari. And I want you to let me know. As long as he is the one who explained the Quran and you gave me a headache with him, thank you very much. You know, at Tabari, at Tabari, at Tabari. You know, so this is uh, the book of At Tabari. Tariqul al Rusuli wal Muluk, Al Mosu al Shamila. Let me. Uh, let me find uh, uh, like an. Uh, A website Islamic website so we can share it on the screen he said فَإِذَا طَلَعَتِ الشَّمْسِ فَإِنَّهَا تَطْلَعْ مِنْ تِلْكَ الْعُيُونِ 
على عجلتها ومعها 360 ملكا This is explaining how Gog and Magog they come Do you agree with that? Did I lose him? What happened to this guy? He hang up. I was talking to him. See now he don't wanna. He don't want. Uh, he don't want a tabari no more. <laughs> he don't want to read the prophet at tabari, the fiction of at tabari. I mean the tabari will make us die laughing. We say to him, Muhammad said he said at tabari said. Muhammad he said this at tabari said that. At Tabari, he said that the sun fell down in the ocean and all those funny stories. What the Tabari? If I am you, I will not even mention his name. What a Ibn Kathir is even more horrible. This is why the second you say to them, do you accept what they say? Let's yeah, see, we have another Muslim he's trying to call. His name is Ahmed. And Mustafa, if you like me to call you back, you hang up. I don't know why. But let me know, my friend. Just text me and I will be happy to call you. Let us see Mr. Ahmed. Let us see. Tabari. Someone in the chat saying the Bible say the earth is a flat. I challenge you to show me that. In fact, this is in the Quran. And this is why you Muslim you pray in the direction of the Kaaba. And this is why the Muhammad he says, Allah he come down in the third part of the night. And the Quran says, Sutihat when the earth made flat. The haha, Allah made the earth flat. So we have tons of verses, so don't even go there. And we can show you even Muslim scholars saying, yes, the earth is a flat. And anyone disagree with the Quran, he is an infidel. Do you know what Sutihat mean? Flat. Chapter 88, verse number 20. They try to change the topic because it's an embarrassment. They do not know who is Allah. They do not know what Allah name mean. They do not know where is Allah. They do not know how we look like. They, uh, they, they have description which is the most funny, most stupid, most silly. So look what he said, uh, Mr. Mustafa, what he said to us. Allah, he have something from him, from his body. He grab things with it and he create things with it. All of this just to refuse to say Allah have hands. Which now is more funny. Because if he have something from him to grab something from it, which is me part of him it may be a tail like a monkey he can grab things grab things with his tail did you see how the monkey he can grab your tea your 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 uh, your keys with his tail or his uh, uh, like a fruit did you see how the monkey he can hold the branch of a tree with his tail so allah don't you know they don't want to say allah have hands so now allah have a tail Somebody asking how Jesus looked like, why we don't know how Jesus looked like. Only racist people, they care for the look of a person. You will see that nowhere in the Bible describe how Jesus looked like. Do you know why? Because Christianity is against racism. But if we go and right now and we search, we will find tons of Islamic videos speaking about the white Muhammad. How white his face was. How white his belly bum. How white his legs and his thin and his thigh. How white his underarms. But you will never find anywhere in the Bible it says that Jesus the white person. Or Jesus was uh, whatever. For this is only interesting for racist people. So today we got a new conclusion.
that Allah he has little something coming from his belly and he grabbed things with it and the Muslim refused to say this is a hand and now the Muslims agree that Allah and Muhammad they will sit on the throne you see when the Bible speak like when Jesus said he asked the Jews what do you say of the Messiah they said he is a son of David he said then well how David call him Lord which means David worshiping him and he caught like the, the Messiah will sit in his in the right hand of the father but that there makes sense because this is the God the father and this God the son sharing the throne which means the authority Muhammad is in the throne of Allah obviously Muhammad is trying to replace Jesus you see everything Muhammad he saying he is trying to take the place of Jesus so Muhammad he brought a pagan God his name is Allah La, which is the moon God and now Muhammad he changed his name from Qatham to Muhammad which means the praised one so he wanna be Jesus and then he claimed that he is the most honorable and the most close person to God and that is replacing Jesus because Jesus said no one knows the father but the son and Muhammad now is going to be in the throne of his God Allah which means he is in the Muslim they are associating a man like they don't even believe he's a son of God so why he is on the throne of God you see the crown prince the crown prince can sit next to the king actually he does sit next to the king he's the crown prince he's the coming king Muhammad sitting next to Allah on his throne why yeah actually you know we will be we will be with the Indonesian group today I thought it's tomorrow uh, yeah today is going to be uh, but I don't know if I will go live because I think they want to be uh, I don't know obviously we're gonna be private uh, let us see this uh, this Moroccan boy the one who do not know how his God looked like he think he's a spirit And now you will hear the most funny answers ever. Moroccan in the best to make fun of Allah. He is not answering. Hmm. Okay, forget about him. Maybe he is doing wudu, taking a shower with dead dogs. Yes, Mr. Ishmael. Hello. Hello, Good hello. Day. How are you? What do you want to uh, say to us? Fine. Did you hear the topic? Um, no, I'm just coming in, but I saw the title. Yeah. The description of Allah in the in the Islam. So I just want to say, or should I give my opinion? Or I don't know whether you have something to ask me. I don't know. No, no, I don't care for your opinion. You see, who care about your opinion and my opinion? We care about what Islam is not my opinion or you who are you who am i we are nobody so if muhammad says so muhammad says so if allah says so allah says so or your opinion doesn't count or oh, what i mean is that what you want me to see as in what i have to say about him. okay did you hear your friend yeah. your friend he said that allah he have a part of him like a like something come from his body and he grab things with it and he hold things with it and he create things with it what do you what do you think about what he said? What hadith is that? I would like to see the hadith. Or the My source. friend, just go watch then. Don't call me. Don't non stop calling me. You need to listen. I don't have time to tell you <clears throat> what hadith is that. Let us see this Moroccan boy. We hope he will answer. TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. I call him, he don't answer. I don't know. And he call me only when I have somebody speaking to me. I think he's doing it on purpose, you know. I think he's doing it on purpose. He called me only when somebody is with me on the mic. It's very funny that Allah shin is not a shin, but it is a shin. Allah hand is a, not a hand, it's but it's a hand. Allah face is a, not a face, but it's a face. 
Uh, so why Allah call it face if it's not a face? Yes, uh, Marakon. Hello? Hello? Hear me? Yeah, I hear you. So what do you think about what we are saying? Are you still, uh, are you still making videos? No, I'm not making video. I'm making cartoon. Huh? Huh? We if are, I wear you, we, we get out of town. Now we're we, away from town. You are what? <clears throat> you call the word unification verb. We, That's we, embarrassing. We, we, they're very embarrassing, and you are the one I asked you. And, and, you, and you, I am you, the one who asked people, you. Listen, you listen. We have you record. We have you, we have you recorded. Listen, it's verb. embarrassing. It's embarrassing. I I I have you recorded. I I said to you what you. Uh, uh, Tawheed al-Dual Arabiya mean you said unification of the the Arab states. You said that. So you are unifying yes, uni uh, yes, unifying that. the Arab states. So it is a verb, you idiot. So now I'm asking you. Oh really? Okay, hold on. Okay. Let me let the me ask you. This is the this is the question. Look, this is this look is the this dictionary. is the question. Okay, this is the question. Let's let's, let's look at it in dictionary. It's if okay. it's verb. Listen, or listen, noun. listen, listen. You are the one who said to me just yesterday, you idiot. Depend in the context. Yeah, but look at it. So you look agree. So you stupid. So you stupid. You agree. So you stupid. So you stupid. So you stupid. You agree. I will convert okay, to Christianity. Hold on. You said. And when, if it says you said in the context. What context? Okay, show me the context of the Quran. It says Tawheed. Show me. Show me the the context in the Quran. It says Tawheed. No, no, no. Look at look at the word. Uh, unification. You are the one who agree. The bend in the location of the sentence. Do you remember? And when I ask you about Ahad, you say the same. You said Ahad. If we change the location, the bend in the sentence, we will change the meaning. But all Ahad come as one off. I'm asking, don't waste, don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. Can you show me the word Tawheed? The, 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 can you show, what is, what is the, where is the word Tawheed coming from in Islam? Listen, forget about it. just type unification. And, and I am asking and you, where is the word Tawheed is coming from, from Islam? Then we can go and check it out. Okay, type the word unification. Let's see who's going to go. Who's going to say? I'm asking who's you. Say, I'm asking you where we can find the not, is Is that a word you Muslim you created or it is part of Islam? No, 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 we're not going to talk about that. Why Time, not? Why not? You, no, you said we need to read the context so we can understand. And what you, this is what you said. So let us read the context together. Allah, he never used the word of he. Do you agree? No, yeah, no, no. You you know, you went to out of the I'm topic. asking we, you, we did Allah ever, did Allah that. ever Just use the, the did Allah ever, did Allah, was gonna did say. Allah that. ever, did I Allah ever, listen, did Allah, we can talk we about So we will go, we will go to dictionary, no problem. I, I will promise okay. you, I will promise you. But can you tell me, did Allah ever use the word Tawheed? The to it, Allah used the word Al Wahid. Al -Wahid. Uh, this is not a question. It's the Did Allah? Ah, so Allah Al Wahid, not Tawheed. Why Allah He chose Al Wahid, but did not He use Tawheed? Yeah, what do you mean? Does the does the Bible use the word? Trinity? I'm asking you. No, you see, when that's, we when we say, hold on, used. hold on, hold on, when, hold on. When we ask you about the monotheism, it is you who use the word. Listen, listen, listen. This is your stupid. And and as as long you are saying, as long you are saying, did your Bible use the word the Trinity? Let, let me answer you. When we say Trinity, it's just to explain who we are as a Christian. But you Muslims, you the second we ask you about Islam, you say Tawheed when Allah never use it. It doesn't matter because that's the scholars. No, it matters. It matter. And you are the one who said to me that Allah is Wahid, correct? Hold on. Listen, 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 listen. You, you, you are the one who said Allah is Wahid, correct? No, the Quran says that. So the Quran is not Allah speaking. Quran. Well, of course, the Quran. It's not only us. It's mentioned in the Quran. So I'm asking you. Did Allah? Did Allah? Okay. Listen. When Allah he says, did he say Allah is one or he said your God is one God? Yeah, they say uh, many verses. I'm I'm really surprised. I'm that asking you, you ask me did Allah say did he say your God is one God? Did he say your God is one God? And this is your Muslim translation. 
What do you mean? I'll understand your question. Did Allah say Allah is one or he said your ilah is one ilah? You mean uh, you mean you mean to go and start reading for your verses? So why you are calling me if you cannot read? So you are not willing to read? To the, so you are not huh? willing to read the book of Allah now? You are you are your Majesty is higher than Allah. You don't want to read His word? Get lost. Do you want me to go and read now for you? So why you are calling me? Do you, do you want me to go and read for you? So why we are here? Eh? What a kid. Look what the stupid Quran says. This is a copy from the Old Testament. The word here is not one as one. This is Echad. Echad, oh, you Israel, your God is, is Echad. Echad, not one. There's no word, it says one. This is the word here we say, Wahidun, your God, your God. He didn't say Allah. He says, your God. This is exactly a copy from the Old Testament. And the word is used is Echad, which means unity. We can go right now and we check in the Bible. We'll find that the word Echad coming as a unity, not one as a person. So the man, he will leave his parents and he will marry a woman. He will move with her. They will live together, they will have a family, and they will become Echad Wahid. So the stupid Muhammad, he copied exactly what the Jews, they say, but he forgot by copying that, he just admitted that his God cannot be the God of the Jews. Because he is using the wrong word. In the same time, when the Quran speak, the Quran is saying that Allah is saying that. Why Allah don't say, I am your God and I am a God? Why he's saying your God? Who is talking? If we read more reference in the Quran, we will see how stupid this book is. All those verses, let us show you some. Chapter 4, verse 171, speaking against the Trinity. But here you will see that the Trinity of Muhammad is Mary plus Jesus plus the husband of Mary, which is Allah. And this is how we strip it, the one who made the book. But the, the, what make it more problem now, he said, Allahu ilahun wahid. Allah is one ilah. But if he is one ilah, that means there is many ilah. He is Allah. You are just describing for me Allah now, right? Allah is one ilah. But what is the word is used? Is wahid. What is the origin of this word? Is ikhad, which means unified, unity. The Muslims actually, they believed that Allah did not create a single human being. Not a single human being created by Allah. And I challenge any Muslim to say I'm lying. And that is the unification of the gods of Islam. For Allah is nothing but a collection of angels and Allah is the leadership. He is the moon god. And this is coming from the Sabian. The Sabian, they believe in ranks of gods, high ranks, lower ranks, angels, they call them angels, and they have different names for them, for them in Arabic. So the ranks who they are creators, those are divine. The ranks who they are the, take, the, the care, caretaker, those are lower. So there is, there is a group of divines who they are in charge of a creation. And there's a group of divines who they are in charge of taking care. And Allah here in the Quran, He is confirming that He is not even from the rank which is the creators. How we know that? 
if you ask the Muslim now, who is the one created Isa? What the Muslim will say? What this Moroccan boy will say? He will say Allah. But if you go in the Quran, you will find no. The one who created Isa is the spirit. Every soul, which means every life, is created by the spirit. And this guy, the same guy, he used to think Allah is a spirit and then he admit because he's ignorant. This guy, this boy from Morocco. When Allah, he created Isa as an example. How he created him? When Allah, he created Adam as an example. How he created him? From his spirit. But the Muslims agree Allah has no spirit. You ask the Muslim, what is a spirit? When Allah, he sent down his spirit to Mary. Chapter 19, verse number 17. When Allah, he breathed into Mary vagina from his spirit. But Allah don't have a spirit. Who is the spirit? The Muslim, the sage breathe. You go to the interpretation, you will see that the one they are saying that he created Isa is Jibreel. Every single creation in the Quran is not created by Allah. Is it created by Jibreel? Let us see, we have Mustafa is back. Let us call him back. I hope he will answer. I don't think they will answer because this topic is getting getting really wild, and they they have no answer. Hmm. He is not answering. Who is the one who created every creation? Allah? No. It is Jibril. Who is the one who gave soul to Jesus according to the Quran? Jibreel. Who is the one who gave soul to Adam? Jibreel. Jibreel. You know, our friend uh, Mustafa, he's sending me, hey, Mustafa, I don't open anything in Skype, my friend. You can call me and I will open a Jami'u li Ahkam al Quran. If I open it, my friend, you will die laughing. Don't ask me to go there. Don't ask me to go there. And the funny is, the, the Quran says, he farjiha, the Muslim says in her garment. What garment? Okay, we have Ahmad. Hello, Ahmad. Hello, uh, hello CG. Um, if you remember me, I'm. Yeah, uh, I remember. You are uh, the Shia guy, the right? Shia guy. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think uh, about those Muslim Sunni? What do you think about them? Aren't they funny? Oh, no. These people are just in denial. They are in denial, yeah. Can you speak louder? I hardly I can hear you. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, what I was saying is um, so I decided to uh, accept Christ. Oh, you decide to accept Christ? Yep. Okay, that's wonderful. Yes. But why, why are you accepting Christ? Don't you want to get the versions? Uh, uh, yes, but I'm t uh, you know, I don't touch my back to hurt from carrying around an endless. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, don't you want to be like a close to Allah, like Andrew Tate? <laughs> well, every Friday they're going to invite me so I can hear uh, David singing and Muhammad singing. Yeah, the, 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 the Friday party. Actually, today is a Friday. The party is going as we speak. <laughs> so, my friend, you decide. So, you decide to leave Islam and accept Jesus as your Lord. Yep. And right. uh, one thing I want to say is, uh, 
يعني هم ما يقصرون يعني المواضيع most of the things against them come from them yeah exactly you know yeah so, but uh, I am like sad I won't get to meet uh, Ahmad Farid in Jen. yeah well what you can do I know friend don't be sad for anything I mean everybody uh, you know I mean this the things is not in our hand like you know if I if I have a brother and he is not a, a good person and he will not be in the heaven of, the, of God then what I can do to him I will not be sad to anyone but I hey, understand. Uh, you, you, know, you told me you told I, me that they kidnapped your father, correct? When you were a kid? No, 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 no. This is a different uh, man. Oh, oh, sorry, I, sorry. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. My father. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, the different, different man in Iraq. Yeah, correct, correct. correct. Yes. Yeah, so, so I wanted uh, to. Uh, I I spoke to you on I think Christmas Day. Yeah, forgive me because I have many Ahmed. They call me. There's yeah, many of them. They left Islam, so the I'm confused Middle, about half the Middle East. You know, half the Middle East, and the other half is behind me. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, so uh, one thing I, I wanted to uh, tell you is I actually, I started a, um, I think a Discord server. All right. Uh, and it, it contains uh, like uh, content to use polemic against uh, uh, these people. I'm in this. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to like uh, be you know, follow in your footsteps to expose their lies. Wonderful. Well, if you want, uh, you can give me your your uh, Discord server. I can post it before they can join. Yeah, that's great. So what I'm trying to do is like uh, send uh, daily, you know, uh, hadiths or uh, verses from it and send like a paragraph refuting it or like telling you the problem with it. Wonderful. Well, I encourage you, my friend. I hope you will be successful, and you, and you know, you know, uh, such a job needs a patient. Like in the beginning, you might find maybe few people will come and listen, but it's going to take time. So be patient, you know. Yeah, no, I only have uh, three people, but uh, in the future, you well, know. God give me your Skype. Give me sorry. Give me your uh, uh, Discord uh, account. Just uh, like how they can find it. I'm, I'm not. I'm not expert with those things. Yeah. Uh, I'll just give me the ID in, in the Skype later, and I will post in uh, post it for everybody. But uh, one thing I did notice uh, ever since I did leave is the like amount of hypocrisy in the society. Yeah. Like there's uh, I I don't know if you uh, know this, but uh, you know some people you know they find a loophole to uh, doing. Uh, What's it called? The, the temporary uh, marriage. Yeah, muta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, my, if, you know, if you go to like a big azima, you know, and everybody's around, the, they'll like say anything. So, and especially the adults, you know, they can't so, control what so, they say. So you're invi and, invited for uh, like uh, muta? Um, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> No, not that. Uh, I was invited to like a party, you know, and some one of my uncles, he said, uh, guy, there's a guy. And he told me that if I pay him a certain amount of money, he'll mm. find you like a woman you can do uh, mocha with. Yeah. Hello. So, yeah, I know. It's like, it's uh, wrong. It's just like. Uh, okay, Ahmad, as long as you don't want mocha, can you give me the number of the guy? <laughs> <laughs> It's like, oh, boy. but uh, when what what's it called when when you were there, you know, and uh, I think uh, you you were like in the Middle East, right? Yeah, but uh, now no, I'm in and, I'm in USA. No, no, I know you. I know you left, but uh, when you were there, you know, yeah. you were in the school with all the Abdul's. Yeah. What would you do like during uh, prayer time? I love it then. <laughs> Wait, like, did you leave the school or, you know? You know, actually, uh, nobody pray, really. I mean, all those kids, even even their family. Uh, you know, I go to their houses, uh, you know, they... Uh, uh, yeah, I, I did. I was When I was invited to um, my friend's house, nobody, like, and when it's prayer time, everybody, they're watching TV, eating, you know. I remember, they're all, you I know, remember. All, they only pray. I remember, my friend, there was, there was a sheikh. He... 
uh, I was sitting in their yes. house in the in the yard, and then it was the time for the prayer. You know, he's a sheikh. He's a sheikh of the mosque. The mosque mm -hmm. is attached to his house. Actually, the, the mosque is just part of his house. You know, so how, it, it, how is how does that happen? You know, as well, he, the, they, the they build they build they build mosque because the government will pay them. You know, salary because now he is the mosque taker and he is the sheikh, so he gets salary. So. Uh, uh, and then I heard his father praying on the speaker, but his father was sitting in front of us. So I was like, I said, isn't it, this is your father? He said, yeah, this is the tape. It's, it's, it's pre-recorded. It is a pre-recorded. So, so like each time it's time for the prayer, the guy, he didn't even enter the mosque, you know. They played the recording tape from the, ho from the house and he got sorry every month, like, uh, you know, three, four thousand riyal. And but they, you know, this is uh, funny, and you won't hear you know. No, 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 there's no need for Wasta, there's no need for Wasta. Just build the mosque, build the mosque, and send the paper, and you get money, yeah, and send the paper for the ministry of Awqaf, the Islamic, uh, you know, ministry, and, and then, then they'll pay, they will pay even your his, his house electricity. Water is for free because he is, is connected to his house, so now he have a free electricity, free water, and he don't go to work. He got at least three, four thousand dollars because he built that little room, and the, the whole mosque is like not even, you know, little room. You know, not, it's nothing. And the guy it's he run a, he run a, a, a tape, you know, those tape like a, the, a funny tapes, and uh, every time for the prayer he run it. Especially if he notice there's nobody in the mosque, he run the tape. If people are coming, if there's some people, then you have to go, you know, so they will not report him. But, you know, you know, you know, uh, then they go like, uh, you know, uh, hey, uh, it's not me, uh, you know, it's not there anymore. But then back then they used to go, <laughs> yeah. well, now, my friend, but, Saudi Arabia, the police, the religious police is gone. Now, even Muslim women, they can go and do Hajj without even muhram, without a husband or a, a father or a brother. You know, thing, Islam is gone, you know. Saudi Arabia women now, they can walk in the street without hijab. Uh, things is changing so fast. Islam is collapsing everywhere. Nobody you, wants You know, Islam. actually, it's, uh, just the other day in uh, school, uh, we went into uh, the stage, and it was, uh, you know, it's a boy a boy school, and then there's a girl school, but they're, like, next to each other. Mm -hmm. So what happened is they brought uh, the girls on the stage, you know, to give like a speech in front of the boys and none of them, you know, they had to hit up. So it's really just an outward appearance of uh, Islam, but uh, on the inside, there's not. Yeah, well, uh, my friend, I'm happy for you that you decide to leave uh, the cult of Muhammad. And uh, don't forget to give me. Uh, your uh, your discord account uh, like uh, address so i can post it in youtube and people maybe can join you uh cp quick yeah. question before i go all right i get an assignment from uh my school to do uh, a topic about uh racism and how it's like not in islam <laughs> racism I, in islam and how it's not no no it's like uh, there is no it's like Islam is not righteous. Well, you know, uh, there is, you know, you can prove that this is absolutely false by many, many, uh, you know, things. Like, you, you know, the hadith about Muhammad, uh, he Even said the white that Adam, Adam was created from the, uh, uh, Allah, the white, he, he created the, the, the black people from the left shoulder the... of Adam. You know the hadith? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And they can use the, the, the hadith to speak about that of a Muslim man, he killed non-Muslim. He will not be killed for killing the Muslims, you know, because yeah, this is nothing but, but discrimination. Yeah, but even you know, even when it like came to animals, uh, he was racist, like the white rooster and the, the black rooster, or the the white animals and black animals. Yeah, like and the black dog and the shaitan is a black man. He will destroy the Kaaba <laughs> and all those things. You can put them all together. Yeah, so those people they will see that this is absolutely false. Islam itself is the discrimination. Islam is a white man. Religion. I hear Quran so, behind you. Yeah, I'm actually in a shopping mall. In shopping mall, they have a they have a Quran, huh? So you so you so you do more shopping now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friend. Anything else? Uh, no, thank you. I I would like to. Okay, don't Goodbye. forget I'll don't forget you, to give uh, me uh, your uh, Discord yeah, and be, and be careful. This, uh, right now. Be careful if you are living in the Middle East. You know, be careful, you know, 
I don't know where you are now. Uh, be careful not to reveal your identity. You know, they, you know they are evil. No, I'm, I'm very quiet. You know, so I'll send you the Discord and uh, you can share it with other people. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Take care. Goodbye. Let us see this guy who refused to read the Moroccan boy. Let us call him. I will grab him by the hand of Allah. He's not answering. You know, Ahmad is busy sending me messages. Not Ahmad, sorry, Mustafa. Uh, look what what look what Mustafa is sending me. May Allah Azza wa Jal guide you. And look what he is giving me in in the in the thing. Just go, 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 potato, Moroccan boy. Oh, just a stupid. Uh, القدم خلق الله من خلق من خلق الله الله يخلقه يوم القيامة فيسميه قدما ويضيفه إليه من طريق العمل. <laughs> he just said to me that Allah he created a foot by His creation. It is a creation from the creation of Allah. So Allah he, when Allah he have a foot, Allah he create a foot. And he make the foot walk by itself and do the work. <laughs> That's even more funny. <laughs> Allah create Allah will create a foot, and the foot will walk by itself. It's not Allah walking. No, 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 no. It's the foot, brother. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, he is mocking, he is mocking. Uh, he is saying, he is correcting me. He don't agree with it. He don't agree with it. My friend, I don't care if you agree or not, but still, this is stupid. You know? I mean, you Muslims, you have a very weird stuff. Like, even you Muslim, you have a hadith that Allah, he created himself from the sweat of horses. From the sweat of horses. Allah, he made a horse run and he made him sweat and then he created himself from the sweat of the horse. So, but what uh, what Mustafa is uh, saying to us, he is supposedly making fun of this Islamic sect, will not change the fact that Islam is stupid. Because did you ask yourself why those Muslims are going in that direction? Because simply, your Imam Ahmad, he told them, shut up. They asked the question. He did not answer it because he cannot answer it, so he told them, shut up. So now everybody come with his fiction story. But this is exactly what you are doing. I ask you how Allah hand is, why he have a hand. You give me answer, you keep saying to me, Allah hands is not like anything, who care? And then you say to me, oh Allah, he have something coming from him to grab things with it. But he have something coming from him? He grabbed things with it? Octopus? So what's happening that all of them, they try to avoid the embarrassment and they don't want to answer and then do we end with, with, the, with, with messed up false cult. They don't even dare to say who is their God. What Allah means, they do not know. How Allah is one, they don't know. Do we have any Muhammadan? Yeah, what Tinu was Zaytun. Have you ever heard of a god he swear by fig? I mean, you know, uh, 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 things go so, so low. We have a god who swear by the fig, I swear. By the grape and the fig and the onion, I swear. I mean, a, a person, always a person he swear by something is higher than him higher authority or something is valuable way valuable for this person so god he swear by fig 
why he was hungry in that day? Uh, Tom Blondie, he says, you know, Christianity has many dumb things. Uh, okay, you can say whatever you want, but I find it very funny that you are calling yourself Tom and the Blondie. And you are talking about dump. Tom and the Blondie. So take the wisdom from the Blondie. No comment. Stupid people. Okay, we have the Moroccan boy. So Moroccan, did you are you going to read what I showed you or you will not read? I need to read for you a verse that has uh, Allah is one. Oh, you want to read for me a verse as Allah is one? One is his one what? Okay. Lakum Innamallahu ilahun wahid. Okay. Surah Nisa uh, uh, one, okay. I believe, 171. Okay. Who is talking? Who's talking? He's talking uh, Allah. Who's talking uh, uh, Mickey Mouse? Is Allah is talking in the Quran? Okay, uh, but Innam Allahu ilahun wahidun. You eat it. Isn't it me who opened the verse in the front of you to read it and you refused? Listen to me. When did you open? I'm not. I'm not watching your video. I'm with you. In the I said to you, you read this verse. You said to me you will not read it. But but look what you just said. YouTube. Look. But look what you just said. Look what you just said. You said, uh, uh, you're, uh, I said to you, who is saying that? You said, Allah. Correct? What do you mean, who is saying that? I'm reading the Quran. Yeah, who's, Why are you who's, asking who me? is talking? Who's talking? Is Allah is talking? So if Allah who's is talking, Allah so if Allah, Quran, if said, Allah, if Allah, Allah, okay, wahid. hold on. Listen, I will go with you. You see, this is a wonderful verses. Let us read it together. First of all, let us go from the beginning so we don't jump to the to the one you showed me. Can we read it from the beginning? From from uh, from this chapter, I'm, I have just the verse. That, just I the verse. No, no, I'm not, go, to go I'm not going to go to the chapter. chapter. You will see. You will see that it says that Jesus, Isa, is the he is he is a spirit from Allah. Do you agree? The one that uh, okay, the, the one that I that I read right now is the same thing that you were reading. Yeah, what verse, I have here verse is, 171. Huh? Huh? I can hear you. Verse 171. I can hear you. Verse 171. Surat Nisa. Yeah. Is it? Does it say that Isa, the Messiah, he is the son of Mary, and he is his word, and he is spirit proceeding from him mm -hmm. if Isa is a man like me and you are you are you a spirit proceeding from Allah no then you want to change the topic we are, not we are, not, we are not 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 to change the topic we are not we are not to change it we are not don't be scared don't be scared don't be terrified we are talking about if allah hold on we are talking about if allah is one or not because if allah is one how jesus is a spirit proceeding from him that's mean the spirit of jesus is the spirit of allah What what does what is spirit of Allah and and, and Jesus have to do? It says the verse the verse spirit. you are reading for me. You smart. Also, you are also, the, not don't don't also, all, don't, that, don't tell also, me also that, that, answer. That, 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 don't tell God, me what is spirit. Also, what is spirit? He, I'm asking you. Listen, we cannot talk at the same that, time. And, and don't and force me to hang up on you. Don't don't force me to hang up on you. Listen, listen, Moroccan guy. Don't force me to hang up on you. Please let us speak like adult. When I say the Quran say not me, you said to me what spirit? The Quran said that Isa is a, the spirit from Allah, proceeding from Allah. Go ahead and tell me how Allah is one, yet He have a spirit connected to Him, and that is the spirit of Jesus, and Jesus Himself is a spirit. Now you talk. Go ahead. 
No, no, no. Yeah, that, this is your interpretation. That interpretation is wrong. I am not giving interpretation. There is no, there is no scholar is saying that. That's I, I'm your not saying. I did not say scholar. I, I I just read the Quran. The Quran says, and Isa Mary, sorry, the son of Mary, he is a spirit proceeding from him. I'm not quoting a scholar. I'm quoting your Allah words. You are making fun of Allah now. But, spirit. Yeah, but your interpretation is wrong. The one I am not giving interpretation. I am not giving interpretation. I'm not giving interpretation. It says in the front of you, spirit proceeding from him, proceeding I N G. So Jesus is the only no, one no, person. No, 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 no. That's your, your understanding of the verse is wrong. I don't, man. I'm not giving understanding. You, uh, this is, you are avoid, avoiding to answer. This is it's the verse you chose. Listen to me. Listen, listen. You can you can hang up. Then I will get you what the scholar are saying exactly. Here okay? we go. Just this potato. Up. This potato. He called me. He he searched in Google. He did read the same verse, and now he says, "Okay, you can hang up." And I will go. So why you call me? He hang up. Why you call me? I will go and read the scholar what they say, you donkey. Don't call me again. Each time he calls me, he says, I will go and see what the scholars they say. Because you know nothing about his religion. And why even we need a scholar to read it for us? It says that Jesus a spirit proceeding from him. So if Allah is one, then how Jesus is a spirit proceeding from Allah? And how Jesus is the word of Allah if the word of Allah is not created and the word of Allah is eternal so the same chapter you call me to prove to me that Jesus sorry Allah is one in fact it says Allah is a three because look what happened what is Jesus Jesus is according to the verse not other verse he is the Word of God. Well, this is what the Bible says. Chapter 1 of John, verse number 1 and verse number 14. And the Word became a flesh. So He is the Word of God. And He become a man, which is a Christ Jesus. And He has the Spirit of God within Him. And the Quran confirmed that. So look what happened now. We have Jesus the man and Jesus the Word. And Jesus the Spirit, three in one. The same verse says that. And the same stupid verse says, don't say Trinity. The same stupid verse says, don't say Trinity. But isn't it the same verse just confirmed that you can be three and one at the same time? It's in the front of you. This is how stupid Muhammad is. And this is how stupid they are. Each time we show them a verse in the Quran, they say, I need to go and see the scar. They cannot give me an answer for their book because their book is very confusing, very stupid. It doesn't make sense. And then the scholars start giving them their fictions. He throw at them anything. The scholar, he said, the scholar says, they don't even follow what Muhammad said. They say the scholar. They don't want even to follow what Allah said. They say the scholar. Right? You know, here you see a Muslim is uh, is being uh, being silly and funny. Let us put on the on the screen so we can laugh at you. Do you see why we laugh at this religion and the follower of Muhammad? Look at this guy. Look at this madness. We Christian, we say that God, He He came even to uh, to Abraham as a man. Do the man have eyes? Yes. Do he have hands? Yes. He's a full man. So you stupid you, you don't understand what we are talking about. It is you, Muslim, who do not dare to say who is your God. For us, we have no problem. Jesus Himself is our Lord. He came as a man. You stupid idiot. Blind people, dummy, half a brain. Are you looking in the Bible to prove to me that God have a hand? <laughs> 
Somebody told you that Jesus, he have wings? Somebody told you that Jesus, he was going around by using an airplane or balloon? What a dummy. It is you who are scared and terrified to say to us, who is your God? Allah, he say he have a shin. Oh, the shin of Allah is not like our shin for sure. Thank God it's not like my shin. Do you know how much hair I have in my shin? Allah have five fingers. Oh, Allah have five fingers, but not like yours. Brothers and sisters, this is Yawa. Brothers and sisters, Allah have five fingers, but do his fingers like our fingers? Absolutely not. Look at my fingers. Hey, honey, can you give me some grape? Okay, I will grab it now with my finger. Look how my fingers work. Allah fingers are different. Like what the heck? So when Allah he used finger, he don't mean finger. Allah he used shin, he don't mean shin. Allah he used ass, he don't mean ass. Allah he used he say vagina, it doesn't mean vagina. Allah he says word, he doesn't mean word. Allah he said seven heaven, he don't mean seven. Allah he says six days, he don't mean six days, he means six period. I mean, this is a stupid religion. They are trying to escape the drama. It is duct tape religion. Allah he say, but he don't mean it. And then we go to YouTube, we will find different drama. They go to Zakir Naik, they ask him, do Allah have a hand, etc. Brother Fitr, the brother Adi Kukatim, Allah he did, Allah have a hand. And yet, I have to agree, Allah have a hand. But if the hand Allah fall like our hand, absolutely not. If the eye like our eye, absolutely not. Allah he hear, do you hear like us? Absolutely not. So I can say, brother, yet Allah have a hand, Allah have a thun, Allah have a faith. But he thin and he thin that, that, that like our hand. Like what the answer? Hey, here we go. He answered you now. His hand is not like our hand. Can you believe it? Who cares if it's our like our hand or not? It's a hand. Why Allah did call a leg? And why he called it a hand? Because obviously they are they have dif different job. The word hand and arm or leg. Simply is just to describe what they do. When the dog is running, we say he have four legs because all of them, they do the same. Even though he have a front legs, but because he is not, they are not hands. The second we see hands, we are talking about someone, a creature, not necessarily a man. He stand up and he have hands, he can grab with them. He have fingers, he can grab with them. Your legs have fingers, by the way, but you cannot use them the same as the hands. So because Allah is an embarrassment, they do their best to avoid to tell us who is Allah. They don't want to tell you. For Allah is an embarrassment. And this idiot, each time he called me, he said, okay, let me go and see what the scholars say. I mean, aren't you even ashamed that you are 60 years old and supposedly you are calling me to get me busted? And then you will say to me, I will go and see what the scholar says. I can show you what the scholar says. And then you will say, I don't accept what the scholar says. So he go in, in Google and he search for the scholar which is fit with his, uh, let us say, uh, you know, imagination. If he did not find the scholar agree with him or agree with me, he will not call me. He will go to sleep. And this is why our friend Mustafa, he was a nice guy, but he hung up. He didn't know what to say. Okay, guys, who want to join the Discord of uh, uh, of Ahmed? Let me copy his Discord. And I want to I have to be careful, Ahmed, as I said, not never trust anybody and never share any private information with anyone, even if they say to you they are Christians. Never, never, never. This is Discord of Ahmed, if anyone would like to join it. All right. Uh, today I'm going to go live uh, with the... Uh, it's going to be eight in my time, so I don't have... I have only two hours and a half to rest, and then I will be back on Skype and I will call a group in Indonesia, in Zoom, 
Actually, they will have many, not only one Zoom account. So I'm not going to go live. I will just keep it between me and them. And if you are, if you know that the group, you can just join them if you are from Indonesia. And simply, I will speak in English, but they will translate to the Christians in those groups. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. I hope today we have a good time and uh, and we we learn something. And as you see, the Muslims are in chaos. Each time you ask them about the religion, they don't know what to say. They have no idea what Islam is about. Who is Allah? Who is this guy Muhammad? Even Muhammad, he will sit in the throne of Allah. For a very simple reason, Islam is a pagan cult created to make you worship a man. He is the devil, Muhammad. I don't even, I know I used to think about Muhammad is a crazy man. He is like a maniac. Uh, you know, he is a, a sex addict. He is a mentally ill. I believe strongly that Muhammad, he himself is the devil. The devil himself is Muhammad. And he is trying to fool you and fool your children. So, you need to share what you learn here with your children. Don't just come here and, uh, yeah, you know, etc. You need to teach your children. Otherwise, they will end in the mosque of the Muhammadan fooling them. And then your kids, they will leave Islam sooner or later, but they will go through a hell of time. Do you remember the guy Ismail? Do you remember him? This guy, he converted to Islam when he was 16 years old. Imagine. 16 years old. He spent 16 years of his life doing dawah, trying to convert people to Islam. They gave him even a scholarship because he was very active. They send him to Mecca. They send him to study Arabic and Islam. Took him 16 years to find out that Islam is the biggest scam ever. Me, myself, actually, I have many videos I made when he was a Muslim against him. And now he speak Arabic very well. And that was the problem. And the Muslims, they make fun of him. Look, 16 years he is a Muslim. And now the Muslim says, ex-Muslim converted to Islam exposed. Fake. Fake, huh? This is this is a video of him, the same guy when he was a Muslim. <laughs> so he learned Arabic and now he speak Arabic very well and he can read Arabic very well. 16 years of his life he wasted. I don't care what he is now, but this is how a stupid a human being is. And if your child he being fooled, it's your fault. Because your children they'll be exposed to evil and you did not protect them. It doesn't matter, by the way, if you delete your videos, if you are being channel a Muslim or not, before. Well, I have I me myself, I made many videos ex exposing his stupidity when he was a Muslim. One of them is the miracle of seven dollars and seven cents. <laughs> he go to the grocery store and he was talking about the miracle happened to him all the time. And what happened to him all the time? As an example, brother, I go to the grocery store and I forget my wallet. And then I am in the front of the cashier. I put my hand off. Um, I forgot my wallet. And then Allah, I say, Allah, oh Allah, give me money to pay for my uh, my uh, my grocery. And Allah, he sent me exact amount of money. As an example, seven dollars and seven cents. Go watch the video I made about him. Mental. 
This is telling you that the second you convert to Islam, you, you, you start creating fake stories and lies. Who is going to, to believe that you go to the grocery store and then you say, oh Allah, and he give you seven, uh, 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 seven dollars and seven cents. And look, this guy keep repeating the same thing, keep posting the same thing. We told him that our God, he came to Abraham as a man. He's, he want to prove to us that God have hands. Stupid people. Can you believe it? And by the way, after I heard him saying that, I said to myself, I'm not going to pay for a grocery store no more. I will go to the grocery store and I will forget my wallet always. You know? Like actually always when I go with the friends, to a dinner, always I forget the wallet, and I say, "Oh, I forgot. I, I I brought with me the credit card which is expired." Like, and this is in the best scenario, you know. So always, always he forget the the, the wallet when he go to the grocery store, and this is happen all the time. So what about the Muslims in Somalia? They are dying. Pakistan, they just send them nine billion dollars from the Christians. Bangladesh and just say oh Allah send me you know Allah will send you the grocery money mental and now if he left Islam doesn't make him smart for me by the way because the second you fail you fail in my eyes that's it the one who betrayed Jesus once I don't trust him I will never even shake hand with a person he betrayed Jesus once If his Lord will forgive him, this is his business between him and his God. For me, I don't trust people who betray the Messiah. If somebody, he left Islam, he came back, I don't consider him a respected person. It doesn't matter who. If he was a good equality from the beginning, he will not do that. We are not Muslims. The one who deny me in front of the people, I will deny him in front of my father, the Lord said. So be careful and don't praise those who betray Jesus. Even if they try to correct it now, it's too late. 16 years he is fooling people, saying to them, Islam is a wonderful religion. How, how you can be forgiven? I'm not sure. And this is my advice to all of you. Don't take a friend, a spouse, a husband, a wife, a partner at business, anything with someone he betray. If he betray once, he will betray again. He don't have the quality. And if somebody is willing to betray God, he will not betray you? You tell me. So my advice to you, teach your children, arm them with knowledge, and don't be a foolish watching the fire going in your house. And let us save more Muslims. Like each time we go live, thank you, Lord, we have somebody leaving Islam. Like today we have Ahmed. He accepted Jesus. Yesterday we have Hajar. I don't know if you watched the video. Go watch it. Very good conversation with that lady. She is coming from a very nice Muslim family. She did not accept Jesus yet. She did not announce that she is out of Islam yet. But she said it clearly that the Quran does not make sense. Which you know what does that mean. Each time I explain to her and I show her and she read with me and she speak Arabic very well. She say it doesn't make sense. And this is why the Muslims they try to avoid to show you what Islam is by going after a scholar. They don't want even to quote their prophet. They don't even want to explain their Quran. They have to go and see a scholar because their religion is not a religion. It is a religion of a scholar. And the funny is Muhammad in the Quran, he said that we made this book with the great details. And then we find that we have a thousand scholars, if not a million, and they are in this agreement with each other. 
So how this is from God, when you cannot even agree with yourself about a simple thing? I have to go, and uh, I will be live again with the group of uh, Indonesian in a few hours, two hours and a half. And enter to see you soon again. I say may the Lord bless you. And this is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you humbly for today. Feel free to download my video, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and, and subscribe after a while. So Allah can bless you. The wisdom of Allah. Take care.